Let's draw the structure of CH2O. This is a molecule known as formaldehyde, which is used a lot in many anatomy and biology labs. So the first thing that we want to do first is um, make an inventory of our atoms. So here we have carbon is going to be happy at 4, oxygen is going to be happy at 6, and hydrogen is going to be happy at 1, but we've got two of those there. So 4 plus 6 is 10, 10 plus 2 is going to be 12. So my goal is to get 12 valence electrons around uh, the CH2O molecule, also known as formaldehyde. So the easiest thing for me is to make carbon the central atom because I know carbon loves to get four around it. Well, if I make carbon my central atom, um, I'll have two from the hydrogens, which is fine. Uh, but then uh, where will the oxygen, how will I get four with only one oxygen? And the easiest thing to realize is that you can use a double bond. Okay, so that would be the structure of formaldehyde. So um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, let's do nine, 10, 11, 12. So let's put our um, remaining electrons on the oxygen atom because it can accommodate it. Remember, oxygen loves six. Let's do some formal charge considerations here. So uh, let's look at the central carbon atom. So formal charge, uh, one, two, three, four. Carbon is happy at four. Four minus four is zero. Uh, octet rule for carbon, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's fine. Uh, let's do the formal charge for this hydrogen, realizing it's the same for that hydrogen. So they're both bound to the same carbon. And uh, the formal charge for that hydrogen, uh, one. H hydrogen is happy at one. One minus one is zero. And then the octet rule for hydrogen is going to be two. One, two, yeah. Okay, octet rule for hydrogen is two. Remember, the octet rule um, is very different for different elements. So there's a lot of uh, leeway with that octet rule. Formal charge minimization is what you want to look for. And um, let us look at the oxygen now. Formal charge, which is most important. One, two, three, four, five, six. Happy. Oxygen is happy at six. There's six around it. Six minus six is zero. So the formal charge of that oxygen, this oxygen atom is zero. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oxygen happy at six. Six minus six is zero. Octet rule. Here we're going to count everything individually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this uh, oxygen, this atom satisfies the octet rule. All right, so we have three bonds, okay? One bond here, one bond here, one bond here, even though it's a double bond, it's still a bond. So we have three bonds and zero lone pairs on the central the central carbon atom, right? Three bonds, one, two, double bond is three. One, two, double bond is three. Three bonds, zero lone pairs on the central carbon atom. So central atom, no lone pairs. Central atom, no lone pairs. Three bonds. Okay, number of bonding pairs is three. Zero lone pairs, as with everything here, zero lone pairs for this table. It's going to be trigonal planar trigonal planar, okay? And this will have a perfect angle of 120 degrees. So this actually lies on a straight line. So the molecular geometry is trigonal planar. Basically, it, it's there's nothing 3D about this molecule, to be uh, frank, okay? It's a trigonal planar molecule, okay? So it's a triangle that lies on a plane, right? So here's what uh, formaldehyde looks like. Here's your C, here's the two hydrogen, and here's a double bond. It's perfectly flat. I can lay this molecule on the palm of my hand, and you can see nothing comes out towards you. Nothing comes out towards you. Nothing goes out behind the palm of my hand. And uh, it's a flat trigonal planar molecule, very perfect angle of 120 degrees. Again, with there's no lone pairs on the central atom, you get those very nice uh, bond angles, very clean bond angles, I should say. This molecule is polar. Okay, this molecule is polar. That oxygen is sufficiently electronegative enough so that it pulls. 
So this oxygen end of the formaldehyde molecule will have a partial negative charge, leaving behind a partial positive charge on the carbon. So this is a polar molecule whose molecular geometry is trigonal planar. How do we get something in terms of hybridization? It's, um, that's three bonds and zero lone pairs. So we're going to take one from S, and then that's one. So from P, we'll take two. Okay, do we see that? Take one from S, and we will take two from P. Two plus one is three. Two plus one is three. There's the three bonds. This is an sp2 hybridized carbon.